Can't even face us. We're gonna we're gonna go to the fish nets. That's, that's a really, really thin line. Heck yeah, slushy. I have like little to no like drawing experience, so. I, I cannot be of any help to you. But you got guys like Daniel and Shono and AJ. Steen, Steen, uh, Steen uses CSP as well. I think she's still lurking. Yes, that might was bad. We can clean that up later, though. That's no problem. I'm just in the honeymoon phase while with the new program. Yeah, yeah. Is there is there anything that like like I know you know like when you when you go from like Windows like ten to eleven or you know like whenever you go with the new Windows machine or you know just like how like Google will just uh just like close down like a program that you've been using for years and just make you have to like relearn a new system is there anything like that that you've experienced with csp so far maybe like a like a shortcut or some kind of hotkey that you're used to doing in photoshop that doesn't work with csp And to find the button to resize stuff, okay. So we're... I'm getting to that point where it's like... I lose my patience. With like... You can tell like these these lines at the bottom were like a lot more carefully done. And then and then when you get towards the end they just get really sloppy. <laughs> and then I just uh I'll clean it up later. Like or you could do it right the first time, yet. Just be like 
used to just selecting an element and then candles appear and doing the thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. Dude, <laughs> I guess. Any straight lines is hard. Any straight lines on curved, on curved things, hard. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna need some major cleanup here. So we'll at least get the line then. Then we'll fix it accordingly. I like how the customize the previous customizers were just like, nah, <laughs> we're not we're not doing that. Like fishnets.
Have you checked out Celebrate or Donut yet? I have checked out Celebrate. And I like it. Um, Donut's a slow... is like a ballad, right? Mine looks like, uh, what Punchline looks today. A little bit. Is it the same person? It's not the same person, is it? Yeah, Donut is a... Okay, so did they, did they do a Japanese version of Donut? Or was Donut... Uh, was Donut always a Japanese song? Because I think Donut came out a while ago. No punchline. Punchline is Asian looking. Okay. Is um Max is uh is mime Asian? No clue. I know Donut today from the music video. Okay. Yeah, uh, that song's. Like, the song has been out for a while, I think. Unless... I want to say it's a Korean song, and maybe they did a Japanese version of it. No, she's not. I think her real name or stage name is Cameo Camille. Okay. All right. Let's get to this face here. I can do it. It's just a matter of whether I want to. Because I hate painting eyes. You can see the fake Lotus 2023 poster floating around. Lotus 2023? What is that?
Oh yeah, this cat, Sherbet. Just squeaked and came out of the cat tree. So are those are those hearts on her face? Yeah, like they're like lines and lines and like hearts on the cheek. Some metal band from Slovenia leaked a poster with Twice, Blackpink, Espa, and Dreamcatcher on tour together. What? That sounds awesome. I saw Blackpink, uh, Blackpink finally has a, they have a, a single releasing in August. I think album is coming out in September and they're announcing a tour. And, uh, they're announcing like a tour in, in October, I think. single come out for PUBG yeah it's weird though I don't I don't like the I don't like the virtual stuff like their faces just look like emotion less and it's weird I don't like it not a fan they did like some kind of like virtual concert but it was just weird very very metaverse kind of thing and blue 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 words i say the song is just okay but i don't know if it's like the video that's like um distracted me from from the song I look back and saw all the great progress yeah. PUBG needs to catch up to Fortnite and their online concerts yeah what is what exactly is PUBG? Like, is it like a is PUBG the actual game or like a game studio? I get everything is in Fortnite. Clear unknown battleground. 
is the title of the game. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen... I think I've seen, like, uh... I've seen some of the K-pop stars, like, playing any of the games. Because I, I, I've seen, I've definitely seen the acronym PUBG going around. But, like, I, I've never, like, looked into what it, what it actually was. They were first and Fortnite totally stole their idea and ran with it. Oh. So is PUBG like a like a first person shooter like uh like Fortnite? Jeez, so Fortnite didn't even didn't even uh originally Didn't even make up the game originally. They stole the dances. They stole... They stole everything. Over the head, it's like third person. Third person, gotcha. Oh yeah, original Fortnite was a survival game. Interesting. Max, do you want do you want her her lips to be black or red? They made the battle royale part free to play and make money with the dance thing, cosmetics, okay. In that cover she's wearing, it's like a really dark red. But in other, the interiors, the interiors there, um, it looks black. Are you doing the little red hearts? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm about to do right now. But...
Let's do red but with a little black in it. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We'll just do like a little black outline to it. Got so bad the naming that Fortnite changed the name of the original game Fortnite Save the Universe and the Battle Royale part was just Fortnite. Interesting. And so like the so the the Battle Royale part just took over. That's interesting. better thanks nice guys was telling me you actually built forts in fortnite original fortnite yeah yeah no one play the play the game you have to buy construction aspect is from what the original survivor game hi hi vid how you doing hey koya welcome on in how's your weekend going uh, we're making, we're making, uh, an obscure character, obscure DC character named Mime. How are you doing? So we just got done doing some face details. We're gonna we're gonna get some blue. We're gonna get some blue with the mohawk here, and then uh, and then start painting some stripes.
doing all right. Just thought that I would drop in a bit before I head to sleep. Oh yeah, always. Thank you so much. Hope uh, things are cooling down over there. Three twenty-seven currently. I need to sleep. Yes, you do need to sleep. I I appreciate you dropping in. But yeah, definitely get that sleep, man. Netherlands. You know what? What's 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 kind of interesting is like normally, normally, uh, Florida is like super super hot. I mean, it is. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's in the nineties, right? But like everywhere, everywhere else, it's like a hundred. Like so, like it's it's hotter everywhere else even more hot like we're like we're used to this kind of heat but it's actually like not that bad compared to the rest of the world and i just find that interesting Have a great night. Thanks for talking about it. Yeah. But we aren't. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, uh... Like, yeah, it's, it's really hot here. You know, but, it, like, it's always this hot here. Around this time. And it's actually not, not as hot as it normally would be, but it's like hot everywhere else. And the buildings here are meant to take up heat. Yeah, so yeah, please. But Viet, you're being smart. What are you doing? Did you get you a, a pan? And some ice? Drinking lots of water?
fan, okay. Mod hand size fan that runs on batteries, okay. Which I'll be taking on my trip with me, uh huh. Which is smart as they had a whole week of 37 degrees Celsius in Paris. Well, whole France, but I'm going to France. And I'll be more specific, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're going to, you're going to Disney in Paris, right? You're going to France, but to be specific, Paris. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely get a, yeah, getting a, um, they have, they have fans that are, um, that have water. Um, they, like spray bottles. That, that probably might be useful. Yeah, Disneyland Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have, have fun. I, I hope you have fun. If you have fun, stay cool. Stay hydrated. And don't forget to stay fresh, cheese bag. You know, Disney is the old name. But actually, they launched merch of Euro Disney, so you might grab some of that. Okay. I've never been to the the Disney in Europe. I didn't know they changed the name. Putting that into the trivia bank. Heck yeah. You're in here with pudding? Ooh, what kind of pudding? I'm not sure when they changed it to be specific, but it has changed. Interesting. Is it figgy pudding? <laughs> Everybody, every tr everybody, try to guess what pudding uh, Bosch has. I'm gonna go with banana, chocolate chia seed. Okay. We came to your stream last Tuesday, but did not register to chat. So I couldn't say hi. You would say butter? I never had butterscotch pudding. I didn't know there was a butterscotch pudding. Ah, Koya. You need to hydrate too. But thank you. For the hydrate, stretch, and posture check. Snack pack has them? Okay. Yeah, I wanted to put my phone down or whatever. Oh, one of those... ...attached to your phone. I tried, it wasn't working, okay. You'd be surprised about the flavors of pudding? Yeah. All of y'all hydrate, stretch, and sit good, yes. Or stand when you're... Whatever you're doing, yeah. That artist's life puts you in permanent shrimp position.
My problem with making pudding, it's liquid after like three days. I can't eat that much pudding by myself, yeah. I'm standing in the kitchen right now. Okay, art, I need ideas on what to draw. Speaking of art, um, what do you, what do you like? Wait, oh, yeah, like, are you a big anime fan? But yeah, I might turn the phone number thing off. Oh, okay. Not really, I just finished the shirt design and I'm out of ideas. Savannah Banana. Because <laughs> if you are into, uh, into anime, I would say you're from Spy Family. Because... <laughs> I've been uh, really getting into Spy Family recently. What color are her mom's eyes? Is it in the wiki? My DC Comics. Yeah, Bosh, we're, um, we're working on an incredibly, uh, obscure DC character named Mime. Absolutely nothing. Thank you, Steam. He recommended your stream to me after he had to cancel his last minute. Yeah. Hey, cheese bags. Hey, Steam. How's it going? Uh, we're we're back to making obscure DC characters for Max. Uh, this is mine. The shirt was also Marvel themed. I Marvel themed. Yeah. I'll just accept any idea, really. Yeah. Maybe it, don't we have to listen to Bosch music now that he's here? I vote yes. You are right, Max. That is an unofficial official rule. Let's uh, let's pick one like somewhere in the middle, or we'll pick one of uh. Sweet looking good. Do well coloring and flat. Thank you. Well good news, I'll be creating again on Tuesday so you'll be able to make more music. Yeah. No idea what though. Yeah, the 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 one you're remixing on Tuesdays was sounding really good. Yes, 
Oh yeah, let's get it started. We're just gonna give her brown eyes. Is that cool with you, Max? So we're gonna premiere at like 4 30 Eastern, okay. That way I'm open for you guys. Alright, you let me know. Brown eyes are fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't I didn't really see anything. I was waiting for the wiki to, to pull up. Um I don't think that had any specifications. Oh actually uh they're blue. It was like a close-up picture of of her um I think I took a picture of what, what this used to look like. Um. Yeah, this is what the this is what the figure started off as, and uh, we basically had to uh, uh, completely start over. <laughs> Max, Max got this, uh, got this custom figure from, from eBay. So we're, we're fixing it up.
OMG. That was a close enough job. Looking lots better, yeah. It really looks light years better, yeah. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, uh... Again, not... I don't... I feel a little bad. Like, throwing shade at another... At another customizer's work. But, I want to make the joke that just like, Oh, you want a mime? Well, we... Like, you don't need a mime. We got a mime at home. Not to knock the other artists. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, who knows where their where their you know what their experience level is, and you know, some of a lot of my stuff was was rough in the beginning. Almost like they had a different reference in it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta clean up now. I'll be right back. Hi, right, Bush. Thanks for stopping by, dude. It's alright. I have been patient, patient with you the past few months with these hard work other jobs. Clearly, you are worth the wait. Whatever you want to charge for these apps. One million dollars! How important is mine to you? <laughs> I take it nobody in chat won the, uh, was it 1 billion jackpot? Because you probably wouldn't be hanging out on my stream. You probably would have, like, uh, disappeared. You want fourteen dollars? Hell yeah, Richie. <laughs> Maybe two hundred. Oh no. Well, I'm sure that money went to somebody's scholarship. So, uh, so there's that. Also, does does the does that money actually go? actually go to schools if I want a lottery I'd be all up in your mix even more of it all dinner play so can't wait yeah I got lottery assistance at, at at tech okay well cool I know try to take got a lot of it, okay. How you doing, Steve? How's your weekend going? Dean, you went to you went to try and tech, right? I took summer classes there. 
because I was a dingus and uh, didn't go to class when I was at Clemson. My freshman and sophomore year, so I had to, I had to make up for it by taking transfer courses during the summer. Pretty good. Any art and comic flash stuff? Yeah. Beanie coffee. The beanie coffee. In my stream, at this time of day, in this economy, Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah, I got two associate degrees and a husband at Trinity Tech. Nice. I think you got your money's worth. Localized directly into your stream. Yes. Can I see it? No. How goes it? Uh, we're doing good. We're working on... We're working on an incredibly, incredibly obscure DC character for Max. Uh, this is mine. Uh, he, uh, he got this, uh, he got this custom off of eBay. And, uh, we're, we're, we're trying, we're, we're getting it to look more comic accurate. I'm shocked more people aren't talking, taking advantage of trying to tech yet. There's so much money to not try, exactly. I had a, I had a friend, I had a friend that like, spent like 11 years at Trident Tech. Like, she was like a professional student. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I went to the Trident Tech and then decided to go into computers. He did their continuing education program for web design. I was like six years at tech. My mom was joking that I was getting all the degrees. Yeah, gotta get them all. Gotta get them all. Steam being like a Pokemon. I was like, ooh, the the graphic, the graphic design degree I got was a shiny. Although the, uh, I bet the associate's degree, the associate's degree rap is probably not, not as fun as the pokey rap.
and botch returns. Now we're, uh, we're, uh, we're painting stripes. Great. Are they though, Splash? Are they? Not when you have to paint them by hand. But they kind of suck. It isn't black. You right, Steve. You right. And we're still early, so like my lines are still like nice and clean. Until they're not. That was a weird ad. <laughs> What'd you get an ad for? Surrealistic company? Interesting. And not craft? Like specifically mozzarella sticks? Yeah, this weekend was, uh, pretty okay. Uh, we were supposed to go visit my folks this weekend. But, uh, Dr. Wife got a nasty cold or flu or just got sick. So we didn't go anywhere. But she got better. She got better in time for her birthday. Her birthday was this weekend. But she had a ton of paperwork and work to do still. So uh, we made sure that she had plenty of baked goods. Baked goods and junk food to eat. And uh, maybe next time she has a week off we can... We can make a, make a trip sometime. I mean, B-Day Dr. Wife, yes. I think they had other snacks, but uh, I kind of tuned out. Okay. Happy birthday, Dr. Wife, yeah. Glad to hear she's feeling better. Yeah, she's feeling better. so many stripes y'all <laughs>
Go to Savannah and get a Savannah Bananas jersey? What team... What team are the Savannah Bananas? But also, yes. I would get one. Is it like a minor league team? Like a minor league baseball team? I think Harlem Good. Harlem Good Trotters, but baseball. Do they do baseball tricks? Savannah Bananas. Interesting. <laughs> All right. That's a thing I didn't know existed. You're getting a yellow jersey. Saw them on TikTok, and my mom knows about them from the radio morning program. Interesting. Are they actually good, or are you, uh, are you getting them? Are you getting it ironically? Okay, but how... How do you do baseball like Savannah Bananas? I just want the jersey, add some yellow to my wardrobe, okay. Oh wait, I've seen these guys. I have no clue if they are good or not. Okay. Remember, everybody, remember to thin your paints. Like, like the person, the person, uh, like, uh, when they made this figure, like, I felt like, it feels like they used, like, a whiteout pen, almost. Like, it was, it was on there thick. Well, if their TikToks are anything to be believed, they're hilarious. 
I'm a bit of a baseball addict. It's a good time, okay. I didn't know you were into baseball. Flash. What, uh, what, what team do you root for? Oh yeah, you love baseball. Interesting. I can never get into baseball. It was... Like, I prefer... I don't mind watching highlights. But I couldn't get into... Seems so... I, I guess it's one of those things, it's kind of similar to watching, like, soccer, right? Like, it's mostly boring, but when it, when it does, like, when something exciting happens, it's, like, really exciting. <laughs> I don't have anywhere near the time to watch properly, but understanding it, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised Yankees, okay. So I'm not like massive fan of any one team or game. I just like understanding. Honestly, it's the game where the more you know, the better it gets. Yeah, I can see that. I've been, uh, I've always been a big. I've only. My fandom is specifically football. Like American football. But that was mostly because I went to, uh, I went to college football games. Uh, when I went to Clemson. And then, I got into NFL just because, like, college football season ended. And I was like, well now what? Pidgey strategies, okay. American football is intense, yeah. But I hate everything associated with it, yeah. I watch basketball and hockey during the finals. Sometimes I watch World Series if I'm not doing anything else yet. Politically, politically, it represents like everything I hate. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Bosh. <laughs> it's, it's definitely uh, a hypocritical uh it's definitely like a a guilty pleasure uh for me it's so like uh i have like when i joke around i used to joke around like say like you know how you have like cheat days you have cheat days with food right like I was just like, man, I just need like a, I need like a social justice cheat day. And that's usually with, uh, with football. <laughs> yeah, I won't have people for enjoying football, but I could never watch it. Or like, I won't go out of my way. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Also Chick-fil-A, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a yeah, it's a it's a social justice cheat day. It's like one day you're just not going to care. You just need that sometimes. Honestly, you never had it. I doubt not miss anything. Yeah, I like it, personally, but... Is it like the best thing ever? That like you have to get it? No.
but I think it's good, and they have really, really, really good customer service. And I rarely go there. I love football because there's a tons of strategy when you you break it down, but in the casual viewer, it's cars. It's a car wreck every play. Yeah, yeah. My whole take on life: stuff that tastes amazing or whatever. You can absolutely get bootleg versions of the food. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's usually like I have to be like really craving it for me to actually get it. If it weren't for the like American nonsense shit, I'd love football, yeah. Like I'm curious. Yeah, the, there is a ton of strategy with uh And I, I you know, I'm sure like I would probably enjoy baseball a lot more for that like for that same reason, right? If I if I understood like Yeah, if I like sat there and tried to think of like I need to I need to watch baseball with like a with like a big fan that knows knows a lot about the game that can, that is willing to sit there and explain everything to me got to be a way to figure out a good spice blend that tastes like Chick-fil-A oh yeah yeah the, there's um there's definitely, um, there's definitely recipes out there. Uh, it's like pickle juice. Like, they marinate, uh, their chicken in pickle juice. And, um, there's like other spices and stuff like that. But, which is funny because I, I don't like pickles. But apparently Chick-fil-A is a, is fine. For my taste buds, not my political. <laughs> not uh, my wanting to be an ally. The dipping sauce is super easy. Yeah, yeah. It's like so. It's like pickle juice, some herbs and spices, and uh, little. A little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of homophobia. That's what makes it good. Headed to bed, good night. Have a good night, so. Hope, uh, hope the the work week starts off great, or as great as it can be. I have to get up early again. Doctor Wife is working. It's working again. Put in order of the latest expansion. Uh, a legendary cool stuff. Okay. But yeah, back to the sports things. Would only be missing Black Panther as of now. Yeah, uh, that's the only one I'm I'm missing. I'm not uh I'm not gonna get the I'm not gonna get the the MCU stuff. Still painting stripes, yo. to watch our volleyball and basketball, okay? You know what's, um, what was pretty, uh, what I was, I was kind of getting into just because my friends were getting really into it? Um, 
like UFC was a lot of was uh was pretty interesting. But man, I did not like going to like going to like a bar or something to watch it. It's like the fans. And it was it was pretty funny. Um we were watching a fight. Hey, Joe Screen, banger alert? <laughs> nice. You had me at go to Barcia. Yeah, like we um I remember we went to, to watch a fight, right? And um you know like and it was it was an interesting fight and there was like one guy that was like or there was like this group of guys that were um that were just yelling everything. Just like, oh get him in the you know, like the triangle, the triangle, go in the triangle. Like get the arm bar, arm bar, arm bar, ankle lock, ankle lock. You know, just they were just yelling everything. And then my and then it got like a little just like just for a split second it went really quiet and my brother just yells out hit him really hard <laughs> like obviously making fun of the dudes and uh and then like they they looked somewhat embarrassed and uh And then, like, they were a little less quiet. They were a little more quiet. Hopefully annoyed. Probably a little bit. But it was, it was just funny. It was just like my brother just yelling, Hit him really hard! It was just perfectly timed. I love it when people get annoyed. Yeah. and twist it. Saga is 31st expansion. The legendary case. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I find like for some reason like like punch like saying punch him in the dick is is just um is just a fun way of it's just a fun expression. And I will always laugh at it. I will always find that funny. It's like, I'm gonna punch him in the dick. It's 
speaking of nothing... Speaking of nothing, Digimon Survive is out. We need to get that. Alright. I remember watching the cartoon that came on in the afternoon. Or whatever. But I never like got like hardcore into Digimon. I know they're the champions. That's about all I know. I'm very, very interested in it. Digimon theme is greater than Pokemon theme? Yeah, definitely. Tactics game. I will say this, Pokemon English theme, superior, Japanese, Digimon theme, I think legendary, interesting. Digimon movie is definitely better than the Pokemon movie I've seen. I like that the the evolutions are like crazy in Digimon. Like they don't really make that much sense. The issue you have with Pokemon movies is that it feels like it's a facade of trying to be serious. With the overall shows, just doesn't have a serious bone in his body yet. At least not with Ash. We need to get rid of Ash. stripes at least uh, painted on here they need to be cleaned up but they're on there these stripes look stressful to paint <laughs> yeah <laughs> I want a more mature Pokemon anime. To be honest, just give me something with weight, yeah. Thank you for listening to my TED talk, yes. Yeah, we're we're just painting painting stripes. Nothing to see here. I think they look, they're decent. They need to be cleaned up, but oh, we at least got them, got them in there. Like I'm pretty sure the person that that made this before. Man, that arc with Kari and Gatoman blew my mind when that first aired. The uh, OG Digimon was great. I really need to watch Tamers. Um, yeah, like the person that 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 painted this previously, like 
dip their entire paintbrush in white paint and just glopped it on there. Probably just got frustrated. <laughs> and like, I had to sand it all down. Much better. Well, thanks. Glad you like it, Max. But also, I hate it. <laughs> the only thing worse than, uh, the painting stripes is like painting things with like a black outline like if it's too bright colors like usually there's like that black that thin tiny black line that distinguishes between like br like you know the bright colors oh those are the worst Another hardware situation. Hardware wasn't actually like hardware wasn't hard to paint. It was just a pain in the ass to, to sculpt. There's just so much, so much to that figure. And it's like it's one of those things where, like, it kind of it's kind of like with any art form, right? Like. There's like, there's that stage when you first start working on something where it looks awful. And it looks awful and sometimes if you just power through, if you power through it, it'll start to look good. But sometimes, but you have to really tough it out to get there sometimes. <laughs> Like, and then, and then, like, once you, once you can tough it out and get to the point where just like, okay, alright, this is starting to look alright. It's definitely... Yep, definitely get that, yeah. Still on, yeah. Or <laughs> No, I am definitely not a master. But I think I'm I'm competent enough to get to get things done. To the point where people want to pay me to do things. Also, um, uh, as an update for Friday, from Friday's stream, um, I did get approved. I did get approved uh, for umbrella, for an umbrella policy on my insurance. So uh, basically, I'm I'm not big enough a deal for it to be an issue. But also, ouch. <laughs> hey, 
pay you to do things, yeah. That sounds funny, yeah. I wish I could remember the alternate name Travis told me to give you for that gypsy character. Robinoff Traveler or Crusader or something, yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna do that character on stream. <laughs> Or I'll just say, you know, just uh, obscure DC character. But uh, for those for those that weren't on my Friday stream, right? So I apply. We, you know, we uh, we we had to get uh, we had to get uh, um umbrella like an umbrella policy right so it's it's uh it's coverage on top of your it's like extra coverage on top of uh on top of you know like your regular car insurance right and it's a good amount more you know just because uh we're in a a financially privileged position right so we have to protect our our money and um so they asked me you know they asked me like hey uh you're an artist right and um so like uh we're gonna have to we're gonna have to look at like like what would you re like what would you say your level of prominence is and i was just like what does that mean <laughs> like prominence and they're basically saying that you know like uh if i if i were to still do stand-up comedy they wouldn't insure me because like basically i would be a high risk of getting sued for like slander or get sued by somebody and then so they wouldn't they wouldn't insure us and then so so basically it's like yeah like like great we you know we're protected but also uh i'm not prominent <laughs> apparently <laughs> so it's just like hey thanks for uh thanks for letting me know i'm not a big deal so it's it's kind of like a bittersweet there's like hey we got covered but also uh thanks for reminding me that i'm not a big deal thanks and i was just like what the hell is prominence <laughs> I was like what does that even mean like but they were like basically saying like if you were like a senator or something you were just like if you if you were like a public figure of some kind uh like they wouldn't they wouldn't insure you and you know this is this is just for like the um, umbrella policy though but still just like yay but kind of ouch so weird though right like they're just like it should be fine but you know like well like i need a we like we need to talk to our underwriter just to make sure it's okay and i was just like i and i was just like like if it helps i'll just like here's my website um like here's my website and i was just like oh my god like I was like, they're they're gonna they're gonna watch my streams. It's like, oh, we're definitely not insuring this guy. But yeah, but so basically the umbrella policy is like just in case like you know like if we get in an accident and we're at fault um and the 
you know, like the people, and if the people know that Dr. Wife is a doctor, they could, they could essentially sue us for everything that we have. And so the, that's what the protection is for. The, uh, as the great notorious, <laughs> as they say, uh, mo money, mo problems. But again, I'm not complaining, but it was, it was still funny though. Like I've, I've never had to. I, I've never had to defend myself in saying, in talking, like basically stressing that I'm not a big deal. <laughs> it's always just bizarre to me with insurance companies when they're like, no, you're a risk and we won't cover you. It's like, yes, why else would I get insurance, <laughs> right? Like, that is the point of, uh, getting insurance? So many stripes. Actually, this isn't really that bad. I've done way worse. I may be doing great, Max, but that doesn't mean that I'm having fun doing it. No, I'm just kidding. Or am. Yeah, I'm feeling very, um... I'm feeling very, uh, Bob's Burgers is like, alright, I'll do it, but I'm gonna complain the entire time. Oh, side note, I uninstalled Marvel Snap from my phone, so F that game. Yeah, F that game. I've never played it, so I have nothing. I can't make jokes now, raising that liability. No, I already got the policy. No, no take backs. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be my goal. My goal as a streamer is to gain enough prominence to not be able to get insured. <laughs> Wait. That's not how that works. But this is this is a good scapegoat for the fact that I'm not that big. Continue to not be that big of a deal. And it'll be like a good excuse. So I was like, well, you know, I uh I got an umbrella policy. So, you know, like that that's really why I, you know, I haven't I haven't made it the partner or anything. You know, I just uh, trying to trying to keep it on the low, if you will, you know. You know, trying to trying to keep my prominence at a minimum. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And they'll be like, no, I don't know what you mean.
the insurance company got to got their watch list for people who might get famous enough to get dropped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so far, I'm not on there. And maybe that's a good thing. Heaven forbid, like, my, my, my stupid, my stupid, like, blatherings on the internet mess with our life savings. <laughs> and possibly keeping us from, like, retiring early. <laughs> like, ain't that some bullshit? Uh, we're at the epic the epic dramatic stripe painting music still Bosch, right? It is still Bosch. This is looking so superior than the, the original. Oh. Well, oh, good. Oh man, am I gonna finish? Is this the last one? The last one on this arm. And not finished, because these definitely need some cleanup. Thankfully, her stripes don't go all the way down to her, like, her ankles. If I was a smart person, I would probably just use, like, masking tape. But who wants to be a smart person? We've already com committed to this. 
we already committed to this dress. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sit in it. Do you think uh you will work on stuff again on Tuesday? Um, not sure. There is, um, uh, there's a birthday present I have to work on that's due, that's due on, uh, August 22nd. I think that's the only thing I have, um, uh, I think that's the only thing I have that's due in August. For sure. I'm gonna have to look at my schedule. But I want to get a head start on that because uh, Steen still has to, would have to design the box for it. So I'd rather knock that out real quick. Or knock that out as soon as possible so, so Steen has uh, more time to work on it. So, uh, we'll see. I think, I don't know, like, some of... Like the other, the other stuff is mostly like touch up work. So I don't know if I'm going to stream that. But like, I'll probably work on it sporadically through, throughout the, you know, this month. We'll, we'll probably knock everything out this month, I think. Or at least maybe get close not as involved uh yeah probably at least i don't foresee it being like that like not like this where I have to like completely repaint the figure. And using using this uh the silicone pointer has made such a difference in uh in painting eyes.
getting new tools for stuff also just feel good, yeah. For sure, Bosh. Also for any uh any makeup uh people with more more uh makeup ex expertise than me um when it comes to when it comes to like lipstick is it is that when you do the black outline is it just on the outside or is it on the inside of the lip too Shit, that's right. I got myself this cheap like DJ light thing. Nice. I would say just outside. Okay. Thanks, team. These are these are things that I don't I don't know about because I I am a I am a straight man. I have I am a straight man with the fashion sense of a fifty year old white dude. I've never worn it, but yeah, I think it's only on the outside. Okay. Thanks. Figured y'all would know better than I would. Honestly, man, respect to people who decide not to wear makeup. <laughs> yeah, I sure as hell don't. You're just lazy. People judge my appearance so much. Yeah, I, I, honestly, one of the one of the best things about getting married was like, like, like pretty much all I have. The only person I have to worry about, only person I need to worry about, is Doctor Wife. It's like, if she doesn't like it, that's when I need to worry. Other than that, I could not care less. Well, I do it at conventions or some events, but not normally, yeah. Yeah, so, so Dr. Wife will, will basically say, he's like, hey, um, you know, like my... Uh, my PAs or like you know like my nurses my nurses see you uh, see you walking Luke sometimes at the farmers market and then she'll just say so try not to try not to look homeless and that's 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 the bar set for me just uh try not to look homeless So that means, like, I have to shave or whatever. <laughs> A reasonable request. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if I'm liking some change. <laughs> I'm all for not looking homeless. Yeah, team not look homeless. Uh, 
I just want to not hate myself when I take off my gear. Right. If I can do that, I'll be content. Yeah. Yeah, my trick uh, to not hating myself when I look in the mirror uh, when I look at my is to not look at myself <laughs> when I take off my shirt. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Avoid eye contact with myself working pretty good. <laughs> yeah, works pretty good. Exactly. Um, there's there's a one of my favorite comedians. His name is uh, Gary Goldman, and he used to have a a part of his bit where he's just like his his brother used to be like, every penny counts, every penny counts, and I was like, not if you don't count it. Because he would, he would talk about how, how he has the DVDs. He had, he had like a DVD box set of like Rocky, all the Rocky movies. But he still, he still like bought it on iTunes because that was easier to do, or like 